Breaking news, of course, at the top of the hour that the health care bill has cleared its second Senate hurdle. Details are emerging now of sweetheart deals in that legislation, and it is stirring controversy and questions in the Senate. NBC News senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers is on the story. She's here with more from the backroom deals that were broken along the way. Lisa. You got it, Mika. There were quite a few of those expensive holiday goodies buried in this bill, and they were not only for wavering Democratic senators who needed inducements. Now, Senator Ben Nelson of Nebraska, who everyone knows was the final holdout, won the trifecta. He exempted his state from the cost of adding folks to the Medicaid rolls, worth about $100 million. Two insurers in his state also are exempt from a new annual fee on insurers, and a new hospital owned by doctors in his state will be exempt from new conflict of interest. Interest rules. Now, key supporters of the bill also took good care of themselves. As Mike Allen just told you, Senator Chris Dodd, who's facing a tough reelection, added $100 million that he hopes will go for a new medical center at the University of Connecticut. Vermont and Massachusetts got an extra $1.1 billion in Medicaid funding. And Senator Bill Nelson, this is my favorite, he managed to protect seniors in South Florida from cuts in Medicare Advantage, which is the private version of of Medicare insurance. He grandfathered them in. This means that they get to keep all their extra benefits, their gym memberships, and other things that you get when you, you sign up for the private package. That should, in turn, spare the senator a lot of political grief. One other big winner in the final days was the American Medical Association. Senate Democrats dropped a 5% tax on cosmetic surgery that upset doctors and also eliminated cuts in payments to specialists. Of course, it was only a coincidence that the powerful AMA endorsed the Senate bill yesterday, Mika. Of course they did. Isn't, isn't that funny? It's sort of like such a coincidence. Just wow. It is. They endorse it and they get the, yeah, tax removed.